That victim is an East Providence woman in her 40s. Police are not releasing her name just yet. However, new this morning, we now know the identity of the driver who's accused of hitting and killing her. The suspect is 53-year-old Paul Newman of Jacksonville, Florida. Police were called to Newport Avenue near Roger Williams Ave around 8 o'clock last night for reports of a woman who had been hit by a car. Witnesses told police a red SUV hit the woman, then drove away. Police tell us it looks like the woman was in a crosswalk when she was hit. Police say she was unconscious when first responders arrived. She was taken to Rhode Island Hospital and was pronounced dead a short time later. Police were then able to track down the suspect's vehicle, which turned out to be a rental car. They contacted the suspect, Paul Newman, and he surrendered to police last night. We spoke to a woman who was pumping gas across the street moments before the crash happened. When she looked, she seen the girl go flying in the air, and then she went down on the ground, and the guy just took off. Yeah, like it's horrible. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. It's like, you know, I was telling the woman, like, you gotta freaking live every day for its day. You never know what's gonna happen. Something stupid like that. And Newman is set to be arraigned in court later this morning. He'll be charged with leaving the scene of an accident, death resulting. And police say the suspect is a Jacksonville, Florida man who was driving a rental car when he allegedly hit and killed a woman last night. Now, the suspect drove away, but thanks to the quick work of witnesses, police were able to track him down. Again, that suspect is 53-year-old Paul Newman. He's from Jacksonville, Florida, and was driving a rental car when he allegedly hit an East Providence woman who was crossing the street. Witnesses told police they saw the red SUV drive away after hitting the woman, but one witness was able to get the license plate number before he drove away. Police traced that number to a rental car company in Warwick. The company told police the man had already returned the car and had taken another rental out. Police were then able to contact the suspect who turned himself in last night. Newman is now charged with leaving the scene of an accident, death resulting. When I got here, there was a woman laying on the floor, and there was a bunch of people like from the houses, the cars that parked, to pulled over and got out of the car, and they were around her, seeing if they could help her, I guess. But she wasn't moving at all. And last night's crash comes just one week after a bicyclist was hit and killed in East Providence. That driver, however, did not leave the scene. Newman is going to be in court later this morning in Providence District Court. Reporting live in the newsroom, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.